I have a couple more questions before we wrap this interview up. I know you have you're a busy man, and um, you got your plate pretty full. But um, uh, would it be all right if um, you know we will follow you to do some documentaries on you and and and, and of course you know um, your fighters in the, in the near future? Well, without a doubt, um, we look for you know we're looking for some help. We all do, you know. Um, if it's with the newspapers, if it's with the camera. Um, everybody shines when it, when it, when, when, when it's time to, to shine and, and when the camera's on them. You're welcome to come to my gym anytime. We train. You can come in there and catch us, you know, when we're not expected. You know what I mean? Most of the time you see guys on this camera, they're expecting you to come. And so they put on the little, you know, act for the camera. I'd like for you guys to come in, check us out working, check out the sweat part, the hard part. Uh, boxing has the glamour part of it, then it has the dirty you know, grimy part where you got to dig deep and sweat and holler and cry and the workouts that we do to climb, you know what I mean? Um, I put my guys' bodies through a lot. Sometimes they think I'm a crazy coach, but when they win, they look at me and say, Coach, thanks for the, the hard work and the determination that you give me. Um, right now, we're, 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 we're scheduled now for, I think, uh, the next three weeks we'll be fighting uh, every weekend. From the amateurs to the pros, uh, we'll be in Virginia Beach, I think on the 17th. Uh, turn back around on the 16th, we'll be in uh, in um, uh, uh, Michael's 8th Avenue up in Baltimore. Right back on the 23rd, we'll be back up in Baltimore and um, I think it's Martin's West. Uh, we'll be up there and then we turn back and be up in Virginia Beach at an amateur show. So we're doing a lot of traveling. We're moving my guys along. Um, you can believe any guy that stays with down on the boxing club for a period of five years um, is going to be a world champion one day. That's what, that was going to be my next question. Uh, you being a boxing coach, um, in your opinion, what do you think it takes to be a world champion? With luck, you could be a world champion being a one-dimensional fighter. Uh, Mike Tyson was probably a one- or two-dimensional fighter. Roy Jones Jr., maybe a one to two dimensional fighter. Phillips Trinidad, two dimensional fighter. Most of the time you could be a champion with a little bit of luck, you know what I mean? And the competition that's out there at the time that you're out there doing your thing. But what really makes a world champion fighter is when you can teach a fighter the four dimensions of fighting. Um, what I mean by the four dimension is to teach a fighter how to fight, number one, counter. Number two, to brawl number three to box and number four to be able to fight inside and when you get the fifth dimension is something that God gives them the smarts when you can put all four of those dimensions together and that fifth you got a world champion and when you see guys that like Bernard Hopkins um, who held his championship for uh, four years he's a four-dimensional fighter a four-dimensional fighter means that he can get inside that ring and he can sense if you put a tall guy in there, he'll adjust to him. If you put a strong, short, stocky guy in, he'll adjust to him. If you put a fast guy in, he'll adjust to him. If you put a counter puncher in there, he'll adjust to him because he's seen everything that there needs to be saw in, in a fighter, and he's already done everything that there needs to be done, and he's already been taught all the four dimensions of fighting, and that's how you become a champion, not for one day, but for five years not for one championship and win the belt and then the next time you fight someone takes it. A four dimensional fighter is gonna hold his belt for years and years and years until another four dimensional fighter that might be a little younger, a little faster and might take that away from him. Um, but that's what I believe in as a world, a, a, a world champion needs to know how to fight all four dimensions of fighting. And of course, boxing is probably 10% skill, 90% preparation come in the ring and shape and then got all the tools 